guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 4 of season 2 of Bow Footy. So let's go ahead and get started, and hold on. In 3, 2, 1, go. So savvy. <laughs> I thought you were already in the scene, but okay. I don't know about that, but of course, all right, Mabel. Maple. How long did that take him? Like two seconds, Jesus. Next floor. I'm glad that we're finally in this event seeing everyone else because like oof. Did you do want to know how everyone else is doing during this event? I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, I mean, they only had, like, one problem. <laughs> it's 
See, already done. Well, if you're that scared, Sally, then yeah, it made the most sense. She did. Did we just see a wood-looking thing that looked like Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy? Did they really just do that? <laughs> Did that feel a little too easy to me? I mean, seriously, these bosses are like nothing. <laughs> Almost done.
The fuck is that? Was that an iguana? It is. So what do you do now? Hey! Wait, hold on, wait! Great! It's like how when you go against fucking Sephiroth in Cage 1, and you look at his bar, and his bar is- health bar is so freaking long. His first bar is invisible. So you think you ain't hitting anything, but you hitting something. And you're like, bruh, when is this going down? Seriously, like, damn. Too fucking OP. <laughs> Really more or less you did, Maple, but good job! Are you throwing up? <laughs> Strongest frog. Damn, like, no time to rise. Jesus!
funny. But is it gonna be that simple though? Hit. But Yeah, but I feel like that's not going to hold him for long. See? See? Mm. Every pit of hell. And then Heart Maple. Once again, invisible HP, waiting and waiting. This thing is too over freaking powerful. Oh my God, like they are hitting it, they're getting it, but the HP ain't going down. Down. Hmm. Are we doing He Man? Oh, okay. No, he's doing it again. Shit. Now, now he's summoning swords. What is wrong with him? They, they just said they were almost there a couple of minutes ago. How much almost there are we there? That's not enough time. Poor Maple. You see, you got treated like Aaron right now, like a princess. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you.
hope so too. So, what does everybody really get for this event? <laughs> yeah, how are we going to do that? Oh, put it in your mouth again? <laughs> there we go. You know what? Honestly, let me say this shit. Because you would have thought, like, the higher ups have been like, hey, that's a little bit of cheating. <laughs> Especially during the event. But no. <laughs> Like, yeah, oh my god. Because, like, clearly, he was like, yeah, oh, how is she gonna pass this boss to go to the next level? Oh, yeah, just put her in Mabel's mouth, and everything will be fine. <laughs> yeah! I, I can't. I, I fucking can't. <laughs> but, yeah, the two-parter of my episode was really... Excuse me, oh my god. Different, good. I mean, we've seen one just like it in season one. I just don't remember what episode it was. But to see initially everyone, you know, all in different parts of the tower and such, and see who completed first, second, third, fourth. I, I enjoyed it. It was good. The final boss, oh yeah, OP as fuck. Very much Sephiroth. And you know, that, like I, like I said, with the invisible... HP bar. You got like, okay, cause like for the, like I said, for Sephiroth's first boss fight in Kingdom Hearts 1, it's like, I think he, he has at least five or six health bars. And so when you're going against him the first time, because every other video, including myself, like I tried it myself, I didn't win though. Um, cause I'm good at it by the greatest. Um, it, I was like, the first time when I played it, I was like, um, why ain't his health bar going down? Like, I know I'm hitting him. Why ain't it going down? We have a problem and such. So I I think I, I played for a good two hours and then I like I gave up. I was like, fuck this. Like I can't do it. And then I watched someone. I watched a couple. <laughs> And they all said the same thing. They're like, why the fuck are you going down? Like, even Nico. Nico was like, like the fuck? <laughs> but when you get that relief or just that, or excuse me, more or less the, mm, the achievement of defeating an extra boss or anyway, you're just like, yes, you are on a high. And such. I mean, I felt like that when I debuted Yazora the first time because I was like, I love it! <laughs> and I'm like, yes, give me that secret ending, damn it! Even though I saw that ending. But I was like, I don't care. Give it to me now. I was like, yes. I was on a high that day. I was like, yes, I can conquer the world. I can do anything I set my mind to. I just kicked this bitch ass. I kicked Dylan Twirl's ass. So yes! <laughs> Oh, 
she's on right now. But yeah, you feel like once you accomplish that shit, you feel like, yes, I can take on anything now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also seeing them uh, during this event just reminds me of like all my rhythm game events that I do. And I hate, 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 hate when all my rhythm game events will all like start at the same time. So like for Idol Master, we're currently in an event. D4 DJ's event is officially ending tonight, I believe. And then I think Bundy's event just ended. And then I barely really play Million Live, but I'm slowly but surely getting back into that. So I don't know when their event is. But you know how when you're trying to save for gems, like if you, okay, if you follow me on Twitter, you already know the freaking hell we had between the beginning of this week, all of last week, and the re-release of Kaede 6, aka Valentine's Day Kaede. I had saved almost like a, for a, like almost half of a year. Half of a year. And I don't know how I did it. How in the world I did it. I did, I had like a, a whole total of 206 holes and she ain't come home. So in this gotcha, it was Yui, Hotaru, and Kaede. So I finally got an SSR besides all like the perms that I've gotten and such with a re-release. I mean, um, no dupes and everything. So finally, I get one of the limiteds and I'm like, oh my god, let it be Kaede or let it be Yui. No, fucking Hotaru. Hotaru. Once again, I am cute cursed. You know when you're cursed when like the same certain person of an attribute always comes home and you're like, I don't want this card. I don't want this girl. That is me. I am cute cursed. I used to be passion cursed. And all the passion girls would come home. I'm like, no, I need the cool girls and then some of the passion girls to come home. Now I'm like, I'm still a cool pay and I'm still a Kayane pay. But I like three, three, no, three cool girls, Kayane, Mizuki, Miyu, and then two passion girls, that's Shin and Sane. And then plus I like Mika, um... Rena, Rena's like the only cute girl that I like, and then Yui, my last passion girl, and then plus a whole bunch of others. But then after Hotaru came home, um, I decided to do single pulls. This was at the 206 mark. This is when I started getting desperate. Like, oh my god, if you saw on Twitter, I was getting desperate. I was like, I need this, need it, need it, need it. I was like, you are coming home. I was like, I cannot save and wait another freaking year or until the anniversary to buy this card. So I was doing everything. I was reading stories. I was full calming songs, a whole bunch of ish. And I said, I'm just, I said, fuck it. We're doing single pulls. Yui's card came home on a single pull. So then I finally get, I was even at work doing this, which was, th that's how you tell how dedicated I was and also how desperate I was with this shit. So I am at work. Helping someone type type out stuff and still doing pulls at the same time. Collecting gems, doing pulls, and having a conversation with someone. And I was like, yes, I am the multitask queen right now. Like, oh my god. And I come home. I continue. And I finally get to, like I, I said, the next poll I do, if I get like a... I was at 283. And I said, if I do a 10 plus 1 poll... I had a, I had like a, I had like 4,000 and I said, if I do a 10 plus one and then whatever I get left out of that 10 plus one of gems, I could just do single pulls up until the end. So in the end, I had to spark. And that is the first time, not counting the yearly gotcha, that I truly had sparked for a limited card. So all that, yeah. And I did that within two days, really a day was fucking nuts like hella nuts i couldn't even believe i did that like the night but the night of i stayed up until four o'clock in the morning trying to do more which like i said once again because <laughs> kayane p and she's my girl that's right <laughs> when it's a kayane card you gotta get the card when it's your best girls you gotta get the card regardless i mean i've seen people spend like a thousand dollars or more on fake grand order I have not done that yet. I, I don't think I'm in the leagues of that yet, but I feel like I'm getting there. It depends on what I, 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 I like. Well, for D4DJ, I spend the $10 for like 30 days 
and getting a whole bunch of jokes for 30 days and then for Cinderella girls I will depending on what it is I always spend like 5,000 yen so I think I'm good yeah <laughs> Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode, <laughs> episode four of season two of Bumpity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos of what I enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode five. Bye, guys.